In this video, I'm going to show you some of the things that you should do to help manage your low back pain while you are in front of your computer working from home. Now, if you haven't seen part one of this video where I give you strategies and stretches to do to help manage your low back pain, I will highly recommend you to go back to the and watch that video first before you watch this one. Or you can watch this one and we'll go back to what that, it doesn't matter to me. Here we go. Well, the first mistake, right? The first mistake is sitting in front of your computer all day. That's a no-no. That will make your back stiffer. It will make your back worse. So what you want to do is just start off allocating about 10 minutes every hour, 10 minutes of every hour standing. Now you can do that sporadically to accumulate to 10 minutes over that hour, or you could do it all at once. Realistically, I would highly recommend that you spread the minutes out over the period of the every hour that you're working in front of the computer. Now, the other thing to address is standing 10 minutes of every hour. Where am I getting that number from? It is just a number and that's the point. The idea here is to get you to move as much as possible. So start with a number that may, seems realistic for you. Usually, I think it is ideal if you work your way up to standing for an accumulated time of 20 minutes of every hour that you are in front of the computer. And of course, I highly recommend that you spread it out so you can stand for five minutes, sit for a few minutes, and then stand for five minutes, sit for a few minutes till uh, you complete that hour of work. And so if you're doing this for eight hours, you're going to go through that cycle as well. And this will be extremely important to help manage your low back pain. So now that we've established that standing is important, let's talk about how to stand. Do not, and I wouldn't recommend that you stand the same way all the time. Try to change things up while you are standing. So you can start off with your feet out wide and then eventually you can switch it up so one foot is in front of the other and eventually you can switch it up so that the other foot is in front of the other and then just try to change your foot positions as much as it is comfortably feasible for you. Now, the, the, the thing that you have to be wary of is that you don't want to stand the same way all the time especially by shifting your weight to one side of your leg all the time and this is especially important if you're having lower lower back pain around the side it doesn't matter just make sure that you're switching your positions and even up your weight uh, while standing and while you're up and this will also go a long way to get you to move a little bit and that this little movement as of now will be important to again get fluids moving in and out of your spine so that you reduce the accumulation of inflammation in the low back to help minimize low back pain. I hope that makes sense. All right, so the last strategy to implement is pacing yourself back and forth whenever you get a phone call. So pick up that phone call, get up away from the computer if it allows you to step away from the computer and then walk back and forth as you talk on the phone. It will give your low back a chance to desensitize itself from sitting in front of the computer. You can also drink a ton of water throughout your day. Um, I'm not gonna tell you why, I think you will quickly figure out why I'm telling you to try this as well. So try this strategy in addition to the part one of this video and this will really help you manage your low back pain. I know the word manage is not quite sexy, you wanna fix, but this is a, a, the, the point where you need to start first. Next week we'll talk about sitting on a stability ball while you're in front of a computer. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Well, I do know, but we'll find out next week. All right, see you.